look at this question now. He has doesn't given any information which parameters it is. He has directly represented it as X. Okay, we have different two port network parameters Z, Y. Okay, transmission parameters T, T dash and H parameters and G parameters. Okay, he does not given any information regarding which parameter you have to find. Directly represented with S instead of Z, Y, T, T dash, H and G. People think that S represents short circuit or Siemens. Okay, when you see this one, he has given a characteristic impedance Z between these two ports. You can re recollect one formula here. If two shunt elements are connected here, okay. Now what is Y parameters for this network? Let us take this as YA, this is YC and this is YB. Okay. Here it is port 1, this is port 2. Okay. Now if you find Y parameters one for this type of networks, this is YA plus YC minus YC minus YC and YB plus YC. You can note down this as a shortcut formula for Y parameters. Now for this two port network, what is Y parameters here? 1 by Z, minus 1 by Z, minus 1 by Z and 1 by Z. Okay, if you look at this one here, you cannot find Z parameters since Z is equal to Y inverse. Okay, you cannot find Z parameters because determinant of Y is equal to infinity. Okay, so Z parameters you cannot find. This is not short circuit parameters. And if you see the relations, none of them is satisfying here Y relations. Okay, none of them are satisfying here Y parameters. So relations. This is not Y parameters Siemens. Now you take it as T parameters. If you find T parameters one, this is just like a short transmission line. Okay, T parameters is nothing but an A, B, C, D parameters which is equal to 1, Z, 0, 1. Okay, you cannot find similarly H and G parameters. Okay, you can calculate it. H and G means V1, I2 is equal to H11, H12 and H21, H22 into I1, V2. Okay, write the relations and you can find that H parameters and G parameters also cannot be found. So, what is this one? T parameters is equal to 1Z01. Okay, take it this one as S11, this as S12, this is S21 and this is S22 and observe the relations there. Okay, S12 is equal to option A, S12 is equal to 1 plus S11. Okay, option A is wrong. Similarly, what he has given in option B, this is also wrong. S12 is not equal to minus of S21. Similarly, option C. What is option C here? S12. That is Z is equal to 1 minus S11 is 1. Okay. So, this is not equal to 0 or you can say not equal to Z. So, this option is also wrong. Now, look at the fourth option there. S22. That is 1 is equal to 1 plus S21. That is 0. So this one is satisfying. Option D is correct. In this problem, the given function is f is equals to delta 2x cube y square z bar 4. Now let us consider the function as phi, which is 2x cube y square z bar 4, which is nothing but a scalar function. Now we have to find curl f. Curl f is nothing but curl of delta phi. Now we also know that curl delta phi is nothing but del cross del phi which will be always equals to 0 for any scalar function phi. Therefore curl of f is 0 which is nothing but option A. In this problem it is given that A is a real matrix such that A power 67 is A inverse. Then we have to say which of the four options is correct. Now, let us consider the given condition. Consider the given condition which is a power 67 is equal to a inverse. Now, let us multiply a on both sides. a into a power 67 will be a into a inverse. This can be written as a power 68 
is equals to i since i is nothing but a into a inverse or a inverse into a now if a power 68 is i then mod a power 68 will be mod a will be equals to plus or minus 1 that implies modulus of a is nothing but magnitude plus or minus 1 which is option a The signal x of t equals to 2 cos of 40 pi t plus sin of 60 pi t is sampled at 75 hertz. How many full periods of x of n does it take to obtain one period of x of t? In order to find this, first of all we have to decide the period of x of t as well as period of x of n. Here period of x of t is t1 is omega by 2 pi sorry here t1 equals to 2 pi by omega 1 that is 2 pi by 40 pi one by twenty t two equals to two pi by omega two 65 that is 1 by 30 the total period t is, is nothing but lcm of 20 30 which is equals to 60 the period of x of t equals to 60 the period of x of n is x of n equals to 2 cos of 40 pi by 75 n plus sin of 60 pi by 75 n n1 equals to 2 pi 40 pi into 70 pi 75 75 by 20 15 by 4 that is 15 by 4 n2 equals to 2 pi i 60 pi into 75 75 by 30 k that is 515 ja by 6 ja that is equals to 15 15 by 6 that is 3 5 ja 3 2 ja that is 5 by 2 here n1 by n2 gives 3 by 1 hence 3 and 2 equals to n1 equals to 1 which is 15 hence option D is correct